to subscribe! Oh no! The Spinosaurus' sail is gone! Let's help color the white area with your finger. Find the Spinosaurus's sail. Go for it! <laughs> <laughs> now tap on the sun and color the Spinosaurus's sail. Don't give up! Spinosaurus some fish. lizard had very tall yeah. spines on its back. Like a crocodile, it had a long snout with closely packed teeth, making it be good at hunting fish. A farmer grows many different crops from the ground. Let's become a farmer and grow crops. Sow the seed in the hole. Sprinkle the fertilizer onto the soil. Harvested a lot of fruits. Let's go eat delicious food made with fruits. Oh no! Friends are curious about many things. 
be a teacher and give them a lesson. Find the best I answer. I wonder what the answer is. Hurrah! I wonder what the answer is. Hurrah! I wonder what the answer is. Oh, I see. Hmm. Hurrah! Teacher, you are the best. I wonder what the answer is. Oh, I see. I wonder what the answer is. Hurrah! Teacher, you are the best! When the class was over, Friends became smarter. Thanks, teacher. Ouch! Friends have a toothache. Be a dentist and cure their teeth. Catch the germs. <coughs> Get rid of the unclean stuff. Get rid of the plaque. Cleanse the teeth. Rinse your mouth. The dentist helped cure teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth every day. Oh no! Dudu car broke down. Be a mechanic and fix Dudu. Push the button. <laughs> Clean the engine. Tighten the screw. Put the engine oil in. Change the tires.
Spin the tires and fix them. Make bubbles on Tutu's body. Wash Tutu with water. Yes, after repair, Dudu is strong again. Dudu was excited, so he smiled. Be an engine driver and take them far away. Chug chug, poof poof. Find friends who have tickets. The train arrived at the sea. Let's swim and play together. The sixth treasure is by the sea, where the waves rise and fall. Let's go on an exciting expedition to the beach. Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. After a while, the aircraft landed on a beautiful sandy beach on the coast. Everyone was excited and ran towards the ocean. Yay! It's the ocean! On the beach, there were different kinds of shells, and they saw some starfish, too. Ouch! It hurts, Krong! Oh, dear! Krong was bitten by a crab! There was a big cliff next to the beach. The cliff had been weathered for a very long time, so the slope looked steep. Wow! As they passed by the cliff, they came upon some breakwaters. The breakwater protects the boat from the waves and keeps them safe. As they passed the breakwaters, they reached an endless mud flat. When the tide rises, the mud flats turn into the sea. When the tide falls, it turns into land. Uh huh. So right now, the tide is low. There were interesting creatures at the mud flat. There were ugly mud skippers, delicious top shells, and even octopuses inside some holes. Ew, they look gross. As they passed the mud flat, they saw a red lighthouse. Lighthouses beam lights to help boats and airplanes navigate. Wow. Just then, a boat with a scary skeleton flag appeared. Shh, be quiet! I think that's a pirate ship! Shh. 
But on the deck of the pirate ship, they saw the treasure chest. What shall we do? The treasure is over there! <laughs> I have an idea! Eddie got on the aircraft and started to chase after the pirate ship. Captain! Strange men are following us! What? Get rid of them! The pirate ship started to shoot cannons at the aircraft. Watch out! It's dangerous! But the friends didn't give up. No! Eddie pressed a button, and a robot arm emerged from the aircraft. Then the arm grabbed the treasure chest. Hooray! We did it! Oh dear, the pirate ship crashed into a rock while trying to chase them. Thankfully, the friends got away and safely landed on the beach. <laughs> that was a great experience! Yes, it was, Krong! Everyone was pleased that they defeated the bad pirates and found the treasure chest. The seventh treasure chest is in outer space. Let's go on an exciting expedition to outer space. Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. The aircraft soon arrived at the moon the closest neighbor to the Earth. <gasps> My body feels so light, huh? It's because the gravity here is weak. The Earth looks so beautiful from the moon. We were living on such a beautiful planet. Yes, we were. Eddie continued to explain. The solar system we live in has eight planets that orbit the sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now let's go through the portal and start our journey. The aircraft teleported through a portal that Eddie had built. <laughs> This star is the sun. It is the star that creates its own light. The sun was burning bright and was emitting massive amounts of heat and light. This is Mercury. Because it has no atmosphere, it is hot during the day at 430 degrees Celsius. And cold during the night, it goes below 180 degrees Celsius. The next planet is Venus. It's also called the morning star because it shines bright during the early mornings and evenings. You can even see it shine bright from our Earth. This planet is Mars. It's close to the Earth and it's covered with red rocks. It doesn't light itself, but the sun's reflection makes it look like it's shining with red light. Just then, they saw a comet with a long tail fly by. Everyone made a wish and then went on to their next destination. This planet is Jupiter. It is 1,300 times larger than the Earth. Jupiter's atmosphere is full of gas, so the stripy patterns keep moving around. This planet is Saturn. Saturn has a beautiful ring and lots of moons. This ring is made up of all sorts of ice. Isn't that neat?
these planets are Uranus and Neptune. Uranus turns on its side, and Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun. Just then, a group of asteroids flew towards the aircraft. Oh no! Watch out! Hang on, guys! But as they cleared away from the asteroids, they ran into a black hole. The black hole was sinking in everything surrounding it. <laughs> They escaped the black hole thanks to Eddie's amazing flying skills. Then they reached the beautiful Milky Way. Phew! That was dangerous! Just then, they saw the treasure chest floating around in front of them. Wow! We found it at last! Everyone was very happy. The eighth treasure chest is in a hot volcano! Let's go on an exciting expedition to a volcano! Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. As the aircraft was heading closer to the volcano, they saw steam rising up from the land. Oh, that must be hot! Just then, water spewed up from somewhere and showered the aircraft. Ah, it's hot! Be careful! It's a geyser! The friends hastily landed the aircraft next to a hot spring. A hot spring is a pool of heated underground water. Sometimes it shoots up geysers like the one we saw. The friends all went into the hot spring. Bathing in the warm water helped them relax. Soon afterwards, the friends went to walk on a volcanic plateau. This area was made by lavas that cooled down and became solid. Volcanic rocks come in many different shapes. As they walked a little bit further, they saw a lava tube. This cave is where lava once flowed. Let's go further down. There were lava marks on the walls of the cave. But as they went further down into the cave, the air started to get hotter. It's hot crumb! The friends finally arrived at the deepest point of the cave. The treasure chest was there. Wow! We found it at last! But then, the volcano exploded with a bang. Ah! Guys, run away! The friends ran outside and raced towards the aircraft. But the red lava kept on flowing out. The lava flowed and burnt down everything in its path into ashes. Animals and insects around the area got scared and started to run away. The friends finally boarded the aircraft. Quick, let's take off! But this time, dark volcanic ashes blew their way. Ah! The aircraft safely flew up into the air. They flew it far away from the eruption and landed on a safe spot. That was really scary! But it was also kind of cool. 
the friends were awestruck by the magnificent volcano. The ninth treasure chest is at the savanna. Let's go on an exciting expedition to a savanna. Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. Soon the friends arrived at the savanna and saw a wide stretch of plain and endless skies. Ugh, it's so hot! There are dry and rainy seasons at the savanna. Now it's the dry season. It doesn't rain during the season, so it's hard for trees to grow. It's hot too. Let's go on a fun ride. The aircraft turned into a supercar. The friends got in and raced through the grasslands. A bunch of zebras ran along with them. A cheetah also followed the supercar. It was the fastest animal in the savanna. The cheetah can run up to 100 meters in 3 seconds. But so can I! Turbo engine on! Eddie pressed the button to turn on the booster, and the car instantly outran the cheetah. After a while, the car reached a small lake. The lake was surrounded by hot and thirsty animals. A cute elephant sprayed some water on Fororo. How refreshing! A tall giraffe spread its legs to drink from the lake. <laughs> that looks kind of funny, huh? <laughs> A rhino with big horns, a giant buffalo, and a skinny impala were thirstily drinking water. Wow, they must have been really thirsty. The friends decided to rest under a shade of tree, but a scary lion was already there. Oh no, it's a lion! The lion must be hot too! Just then, something grabbed Ororo's shoulder and flew off carrying him into the sky. It was an eagle, the king of the sky. Ah! The friends got on the aircraft and chased the eagle. <laughs> I'm scared! Let go of Ororo! Go robot arm! As the robot arm flew towards them, the eagle got surprised and dropped Bororo. <coughs> Luckily, Bororo landed on a giant baobab tree. It startled the birds living there. Phew! I'm safe! But inside a large nest, the treasure chest was there. My goodness! Guys, I found the treasure! The friends were so excited that they danced around in circles. Yahoo! Ooh la la, ooh la la! The last treasure is in the deep blue ocean. Let's go on an exciting expedition into the sea. Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. The aircraft soon plunged into the ocean. Shall we start our adventure? The coral reef is breathtaking!
The first thing they saw were a group of stingrays. Wow! It's huge! It looks like my basket, Krong. <laughs> And they also saw a funny-looking pufferfish. When the fish saw the aircraft, it got frightened and puffed up its body. Hey, calm down! Oh no! The aircraft got stuck into a patch of seaweed. The friends didn't know what to do. This is like a vine trap! Just then, a cute dolphin appeared. The smart dolphin freed the friends by nibbling away at the seaweed. Thank you so much, dolphin! As they were on their way again, they ran into a sea of sparkling, transparent jellyfish. It's beautiful, crumb! The jellyfish are very poisonous! So don't get too close to them! Wow! They also saw a clam with a big pearl inside of it. It's so beautiful! I think Loopy will like that! As they went deeper into the ocean, they saw an old sunken wreck. There is something creepy about this place! Let's go inside to see what's there! The wreck was filled with rare treasures, and many different fish were living there too. The aircraft slowly hovered further inside the wreck. Just then, a giant eye appeared in front of the aircraft. That eye is huge, Krum! Ah, it's a giant squid! The giant squid grabbed onto the escaping aircraft with its tentacles. Ah, we can't move because of the suckers! Engine maximum power mode! The squid clung on as the aircraft zoomed forward. Then it got tangled up in the sail of the shipwreck. Yay! <laughs> as the squid was fainting, it spat out the treasure chest. Hey, it's the treasure chest! <gasps> the squid must have swallowed it! Excited, the friends danced as they found the treasure chest. The ocean is an extraordinary place. That's right, but it was also a little bit scary. 